dealing with an absolute value function, and an absolute value function is just this. It's just a V, okay? And the vertex is zero, zero, okay? And all of these points are like one, one, two, two, three, three, and all the way up, okay? That's all you need to know to understand how that graph works. And on the other side, it'd be negative one, one, negative two, two, okay? So here's the deal. It's asking for this one, right? And when you are changing your X, that means it's a left or right translation. And it does the opposite of what you think it would do. So if we're doing negative two, instead of going to the left two, we're gonna go to the right two, okay? So that's not this one, that's not this one. It's gotta be this or this. And we know that it has to be answer choice B because it's not upside down. For it to be upside down, the absolute value would have to be negative on the outside, okay? But the other thing that I want you to know is when you see plus three, that means we are shifting up three. So that's another reason that we know this is correct. Oh.